guys, it's Sierra. Welcome back to my channel. And today we are kind of throwing it back a little bit. I haven't done just like a regular try on haul in forever. And I was sitting on my couch last Saturday doing some online shopping, white claw in hand. I wanted to get some cute clothes for fall. I wanted to get some new clothing items for my trip to Europe, which I leave for tomorrow as I'm filming this. I'm there as you're watching this. And I actually ordered everything with no plans to make a video. And then I was like, you know what? This would actually be a good opportunity to show you guys just some of the clothes that I bought for myself for my style. And the thing with online shopping, at least for me, is I return over half of the clothes that I buy online because it is really hard for me to find clothes that flatter my figure, make me feel confident, and are actually like the right size. I feel like sizing varies a ton. It's just hard for me. And so usually when I online shop, I'll just order a ton of stuff, but I only buy clothes from stores with easy return policies. And then I'll just like only keep the stuff that fits perfect and that makes me feel confident and flatters my figure and return everything else. So. I spent over a thousand dollars on clothes. We'll see how much I actually end up keeping and I'm just gonna try on every single piece and it'll be fun. I'm excited. I'll link everything I'm trying on in the description in case you want to shop any of the stuff that I bought for myself. Now, uh, let's just get into it. I'm excited. This is so fun. Yay, new clothes. Okay, starting off with American Eagle. This is the first item that I got. I thought this looked really cute online because it's a flannel, so it's very full, but it has like this little tie at the waist so it gives definition. It's kind of like billowy. The sleeves have like, I thought it was elastic, but it's just like a little button that kind of makes them gather. So it kind of looks like a pirate shirt. <laughs> I don't know how I feel about this one. It was kind of expensive. It was $45. It is cute. I really, really like the color, but I'm not, I'm not totally sold on it. This is gonna go in the maybe pile. Okay, so this shirt's pretty similar in that it's plaid and I actually think the other one is cuter, but I think I would wear this more because I live in San Diego where fall is still very, very hot. And that one was like thicker, which did make it more cozy, but I just think the reality is it would probably be too warm to wear. Whereas this is short sleeve and I feel like I could wear this a ton of different ways. I could like tuck it in with a little denim skirt. I could wear it long over leggings because it does cover my butt. I could wear it open with like a little graphic tee on Underneath, or what I'm really excited about, I could tie it into a little crop top. <laughs> so this one, actually, I do think I'm gonna put into the yes pile. Like I said, I don't think it's quite as cute as the first one, but it's more versatile and it works better for the climate that I live in. <laughs> I'll get lots of wear out of this one. It's a yes. Ooh, this is super flattering. I don't know how much I like the style, but like looking at myself in the mirror, I feel like this is really, really flattering. I love the way it looks. Okay, so we have like this little puffy sleeve action and then it has, is this elastic? Nope, it's just tied around the arms. Elastic at the waist right here though. So it's kind of giving me more of like an hourglass shape and then flares out. I really like the look of this and I like the color, but I don't know what I would wear this with. Maybe like high-waisted jeans, I guess. I feel like if I wore this with a denim skirt, it would be like a little bit too girly girl for me. Maybe black jeans. I don't know. I'm kind of like a layering queen. Like I never really just wear like a normal shirt with a pair of jeans. And this shirt is definitely good on its own. Like it doesn't really need anything else. So it might be nice to have some more low maintenance tops like that. I don't know, Skylar, what do you think? Yeah, I actually own that shirt. And it's oh, really? <laughs> Very cute. 10 out of 10 would recommend. Okay. All right. It's really cute with really high waisted, like vintage Levi's. Ooh. Oh, I like that. Okay, I'm gonna put it in the maybe pile. This is the first one I'm not like really feeling. I thought this looked cute online because of like the way the fabric kind of like wraps and then it's flowy. It has this little slit. So it's like kind of a crop top, still has that extra fabric. But I don't know. I just feel like in the mirror, I'm not the biggest fan of it. Maybe that is because this is something I would definitely layer. Like with a cute jacket over it and a pair of high-waisted jeans and a belt, I could totally see that. How much was this one? This was $34.95. For that price, I think this one is gonna go into the no pile. This I love. This is so my style. And I feel like I don't really wear kimonos in the fall that much because I think of them as a summer item. But with like the black and kind of like the, the orangey toned floral, this I am definitely keeping. This I'm gonna get a ton of wear out of. I can picture this with like black t-shirt underneath like this, black high-waisted jeans, like a light tan or even kind of like a, 
a gray belt, little booties, and a floppy hat, like pumpkin patch weather. I see the vibe, this is a yes. Ooh, these are kind of surprising me. I bought these with the knowledge that there was probably a nine out of 10 chance that I wasn't gonna like them and I was gonna return them. I struggle with shorts and American Eagle, I love their shorts, but I love their denim shorts. And these are like a soft short. So I really did not know what to expect, but these fit me super well. The waist is elastic. They kind of look structured, but the reality is they're not. They're just kind of like a soft, lightweight cotton short. And so the elastic waist, I feel like it's first of all cute because it's kind of like that paper bag, like gathered fabric look, but it also helps because I sized up in these and so the waist is still tight, but then I have room in the legs, like it's comfortable. I really like these. I think they're long enough that I wouldn't have to worry about the chub rub. Like I feel like I could wear these when I'm in London, like walking down the street and not have to worry about my thighs rubbing together. So, I mean, time will tell if these actually are long enough to cover, but they feel like they are, they look really cute and they're real pockets. Sometimes soft shorts have like fake pockets, but real pockets, we love that. These are a yes. And surprisingly, a yes. <laughs> this sweater I am torn on. So it is so soft and so cozy, but it's not like too thick or heavy. Like it's not corded. I feel like I could actually wear this in San Diego, but I almost feel like the buttons make it too like middle school librarian-y. No shade to middle school librarians. Like if I was a middle school librarian, I would freaking rock this every day to work. But I just don't know if it fits into my closet. I don't know. I buy a lot of sweaters every fall and then I just wear like the same two that I always wear. So maybe this would be a good one to integrate into my wardrobe. Uh, I don't know, maybe pile. Okay, I wanted to try some bike shorts because like months ago, I tried them for a video where I borrowed my friend Carrie's clothes for a week. And I actually did like them. And I was like, okay, cool. I'm going to buy some bike shorts. And then I just never did. And I know a lot of people really love the airy ones. So I thought since I was already ordering stuff from American Eagle, it's a good time to try them. So these are the chill ones. These feel like really, really soft and thin. Like I would totally wear these around the house, but I don't think I would wear these like out and about. I think they're just too thin, but I am gonna keep these as like a around the house, office, lounge wear, pajama day kind of thing. All right, I take back what I said. I'm gonna return the other ones, keep these and buy like another pair of these. These are the airy move biker shorts and these are 10 times better. They're thicker, but they still feel like light and like I can move in them. The support band on top is a lot more supportive. They're a totally different material. And I feel like those ones that are cottony would A, get holes in them pretty quickly and B, not be great to actually wear as shorts. And I think these I could wear around the house. They're super comfy, but I could also wear them out and about. Still not like a hundred percent on board the bike shorts trend, but they are comfy. They are convenient. So these are going to be a yes. The other ones are a no. Ooh, this is cute. She cute. She has pockets. Did not know that it had pockets until I literally just put my hands on my hips and then felt them slide into the sweet, sweet embrace of a pocket. But I feel like that just makes this even better. I really did not know how this was gonna look on me. It looked adorable on the product model online, but I feel like being a curvier girl, that happens a lot where something looks like cute and shaped online. And then I put it on and it's just like shapeless and hangs off my chest. But this has definition at the waist, which is awesome. The fit is great. I love the little pleats right here down the middle. Is that a pleat or like, what's that called? Yeah. A pleat? It's a pleat. I like that it's not spaghetti strap so I can wear like a real bra with it and I'm covered. It does pull a little bit right here. There's like a clasp. So I feel like if I keep this, I'm just gonna undo the clasp and maybe like hot glue or like add a button right here so that it closes. But it's not like getting that weird pull gather thing like it is right now. I also really love the length. If you can see that, it's like ankle length. <laughs> Which again, being like a shorter curvy girl where what size am I wearing this in? I'm wearing an extra large. A lot of the times that would also be made longer and then it would drag on the floor, but this is like the perfect length. Super soft, super comfy. It's gonna be a yes from me. The only issue I have with it is the zipper was kind of tricky. Like right where the elastic waistband is, it gets caught. Like whether you're wearing it or not, it's just not the best zipper. So I feel like this is one of those that I'm not gonna wear when I'm out and about on my own because I will be stuck in the bathroom trying to zip it up. This is a jumpsuit you need a friend to help you zip, but it's really cute. I, I really, really like this one.
Okay, next we are on to my order from Nordstrom. So starting off with this little blouse. This is one of those shirts that like isn't anything particularly special. Like there's nothing jumping out at me. Like it's just the perfect shirt or anything, but it's something that's kind of low maintenance. Like it's a cute top, it's more mature. I could wear this with a pair of jeans and some boots to like a little business meeting and look like an adult <laughs> and it's low maintenance. Like, like I said, I always get stuff that has to be layered. This is just a top I can wear as a top. So I think I'm gonna keep this. This one's a yes. Ladies and gentlemen, we have our first absolutely no, does not fit over my big lady hips. <laughs> this black jumpsuit looks really cute online, but I could not pull it up over my hips and my butt. So I don't even really get to try this one on. It's a no. And then item number three, these like brown high waisted pants. I thought these were gonna be a little bit thicker, a little bit more structured. I love the color and I love the way they look with my Curvy Crew shirt. Link in the description. The Curvy Crew, it's my merch. Get yours. I like the way they look with the Curvy Crew shirt, but I don't like the way they like hug my stomach and hug my legs. Also, I feel like they're kind of giving me camel toe. They're just not a great pair of pants. And they are a little bit long on me, so these ones are an easy no. Okay, so these shorts are no question. They are a yes. They are actually the second pair that I'm getting in this exact same size, cut, wash, brand. They're just identical to the ones that I have. I get so many questions about these shorts, and let me just tell you, it took me forever, so much trial and error to find a pair of like high-waisted, loose-fitting mom shorts that actually worked for my body type, and these are just it. I wear these like Topshop light wash mom shorts literally at least twice a week right now. I love them for summer. I'm gonna keep wearing them in the fall. And I wanted to get another pair in case they ever get discontinued because I just, oh, I love these shorts so much. I get these in a 14. I would say they run true to size. I'm usually a 14. 14 fits me perfect. They stretch out a teeny bit after the first few wears, but I like the way they fit now right out of the bag. I like the way the ones I have that are super worn in fit. These are just it. This one's a no from me right off the bat. Nordstrom's has been really like hit or miss. I thought this shirt was gonna be like a little bit more structured. I don't know if I just need a smaller size or if it's just that the shirt is too billowy for me, but I feel like it's just kind of like covering me up, swallowing me up. I don't really like the length of it either. It's kind of like an awkward length. I wish it was either like a little bit shorter or way longer. It's just not for me. Although I do really like the color. The color's really cute. Okay, so this shirt is obviously see-through. It's meant to be see-through. I'm wearing like a tan colored bra, so I'm just gonna leave it. But if I was gonna wear this, I would obviously wear a like black tank top underneath. I feel like this shirt's all right. It's kind of cute. I like the crochet. I like the like kind of like bat winged arms right here. I feel like that's kind of fun for fall. You know what? I feel like I just can't get the full picture without the tank top. So hold on, I'll be right back. Okay, so I don't know. I'm still just like not crazy about it. It's a cute shirt. There's nothing particularly wrong with it, but I feel like the fact that I have to have a black tank top clean to wear this shirt would probably keep me from wearing it a lot. And I'm just not like over the moon crazy about it. So I feel like it's one of those things that if I kept it, it would probably sit in the back of my closet and not get a lot of wear. So this one's gonna be a no. All right, so this jumpsuit is definitely out of my typical style comfort zone, but it looked cute online. I wanted to give it a try. Ah, uh, I don't know. I want to like it because it's unique. It's different. I love this color, but it totally looks like a pilot flight suit, but like kind of in a cute way. Like it's very retro. I feel like it would be really comfortable running around London in this, but I don't know how much wear I would really get out of this on the daily. Ah. Uh, nice to come home and try stuff on. If I put this on in the dressing room, I feel like I instantly would have been like, nope, not for me. But getting to like try it on in the comfort of my own home, have my best friend here like encouraging me, sometimes gives me that extra little boost that I need. And I am really excited about this. These are kind of like the American Eagle shorts where I bought these fully expecting to return them, but I am into it. They fit me really, really well. I did not expect that. The waist is perfect. I have a little bit of room so they won't like push on my stomach when I sit down. The pleats are really cute. I've got room in the thighs. The length is perfect. Are these too edgy for me? I feel like those are the exact same fit as those jeans you wear all the time. Do you know those, the paper bag ones? Yeah, the Hollister ones. 
Where I feel like you wear those every day, and yeah. I feel like these are just like a little different twist on that. Yeah, they're like the fall version. These are so cute. Or like a really hot, like Kim Possible Cadet Kelly version. Yes! <laughs> yes, like Cadet Kelly if she was an Instagram baddie. I feel like I'm gonna get a ton of wear out of these. Uh, you know what's funny? Everything that I got except for the first shirt from Nordstrom's is from Topshop. Everything that I'm keeping. I feel like I need to get more stuff from Topshop. Big fan, big fan. Okay, so the third store I ordered from is Madewell, and I actually decided to change in to these paper bag waist jeans. I feel like wearing shorts for the first two stores kind of like skewed my view on the tops. So it was harder to picture them in a fall outfit wearing like jean shorts. So starting off, we have this cute little plaid shirt. I'm gonna untuck it. I would definitely wear it tucked in. I feel like this is pretty simple, but I do really like the pattern. I think this is something that's gonna be really cute with anything denim, like a denim skirt, even like these jeans, maybe even like black jeans with a denim jacket. It's a simple shirt, but I really, really love the colors. So this one is gonna be a yes. I also could layer it with like a cardigan or something. I feel like this one's really versatile. This shirt is uh, not the most flattering, just like wearing it untucked tucked like this, I feel like a painter. Let me try like tucking it in. This shirt definitely needs a little bit of help, but I feel like it could be cute. Like I feel like that's kind of cute, like little French tuck in the front, but it's nice and billowy. I really, really like the colors of this shirt and it's, it is really cute. I like the way it looks tucked in like this. And if I wore it long open like this, I could just wear black leggings underneath. It was, oh, $69.50. I would keep this if it was like $25 from like Target or like 30 bucks from American Eagle, but for $70, it's just not good enough. This one's gonna be a no. Okay, this shirt is kind of similar. So I'm gonna do the same thing where I just kind of tuck it in a little bit. I know this is like kind of the same fit, but I like this print more. I feel like it's more unique. And I just love anything with polka dots. I love anything blue. This one was cheaper. It was $59.99, which is still really expensive. I like the way it looks tucked. I feel like with a black belt, that could be cute. Do I like the way it looks just long with a pair of leggings? I don't know. When I put my arms out like this, it's just so big and boxy. I could tie it. Let me try that. Now this is cute. This is really cute. See, I like like the billowy boxiness when it's shorter because it doesn't cover up my hips. This I would totally wear and this, but is this really fall? I feel like this is more of a spring look. Ah, uh, I don't know. It's so expensive, but it is so cute. I'm gonna put this in the no pile. It's hard though, cause it does look so cute tied up like this, but no, Sierra, you're not, you're not gonna get your use out of it into the no pile. I'm putting my foot down. Okay, so I really like the look of these shorts, but I'm not sure if the actual like fit and comfort level is perfect for me. They look fine on the waist, but they do feel a little bit too tight. And it's fine when I'm standing, but I feel like if I was sitting, this would kind of like press down against my stomach and not be the most comfortable. Also, because they're a little bit tighter on my waist than they're meant to be, I feel like they're riding up, which would cause a lot of chub rub in this area. I wanna find a pair of shorts like this, but I just think these ones aren't quite the perfect fit for my body. So these are a no. I think this video is making me into a trouser girl. And I always wear flowy pants, but I always thought that trousers were too structured for me. But these are just like the cute, sophisticated fall lady version of a flowy pant. Like I loved the Topshop ones. I am obsessed with these ones from Madewell. These fit me much better in the waist than the shorts. I don't know if it's just because they're a little bit of a higher rise, so they hit in a smaller part of my waist, but they are so comfortable. I love that the pants are like the statement piece. I can just wear any like black t-shirt or blouse on top. These are a definite yes. Oh my gosh, I am keeping these. I am so excited to wear the heck out of these all fall. I just wanna go buy and order a million more pairs of trousers. These and the Topshop ones, are, I'm just gonna live in these all fall. They're so comfortable, they're so cute. I'm a fan, I'm officially a trouser lady. <laughs> And then my last three things from Madewell, I just got three basic tees. These little like V-neck, they're called the Whisper Tee from Madewell. These t-shirts are just like a great basic to have, especially for fall with all the layering. So these are an easy yes. I got all three of them in an XL. I don't even need to try these two on. They're just going straight in my closet. Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> Okay, so we 
took like a 10 minute break after that last one and I literally went on to Topshop and ordered three more pairs of trousers. <laughs> I'm just a trouser girl now. I'm really excited and I forgot I actually have one more pair of trousers that I got from Shofo. So I'll do a little unboxing of those three additional pairs of pants when they come on my Instagram story. So make sure you're following me on Instagram. But anyways, this is the first item from Shopo. These little high-waisted paper bag corduroy shorts. I've always liked items that I've gotten from Shopo, like the fit and the style, but I didn't realize until just now that the quality is kind of a step down compared to the other brands that I shop, like American Eagle and Madewell. I wouldn't have noticed that these felt cheaper if I just tried them on on their own, but because I like did American Eagle, then Nordstrom's, then Madewell, I feel, I do feel a difference in quality. But that being said, I do think they're a cute pair of shorts. They have that elastic waistband, so they're really, really comfortable. They are super, super loose in the legs, which is so nice. And they're a little bit longer, so hopefully they would stop the chub rub. These ones, I'm gonna keep. These are a yes. So this is another one of those items that I ordered knowing it's outside of my comfort zone. Kind of like the Topshop jumpsuit. But I like the idea of it. It's kind of like silky. It has the like gathered fabric right here on the chest. And when I first put it on, the straps were like falling off my shoulders, but the straps are adjustable. So I was able to tighten them and then the fit is actually really good. I feel like this is fun because I could totally wear this with like black jeans and a leather jacket. And that would be like a really fun edgy fall look. You know, like add some Doc Martens. I feel like that would be really cute. Or I could wear this as like a dressy going out top with some sort of skirt. My only concern is because it is different than my daily style. I don't know how much wear I would actually end up getting out of it in practice. How much was this? This was $38.95. That is pretty expensive for a top. I like this and I feel like I could wear something like this on Thanksgiving too and dress it up a little bit more. Or like a date night. Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna keep it. This one's a yes. <laughs> All right, this bodysuit is an easy no. Um, obviously it's like a very deep V so I would need to wear something under it. That's not like an automatic no for me. But then I hate when bodysuits do this. It's like this cute little kind of like polka dot like lightweight fabric up here. And then on the bottom part it's just like a cotton material. So if my jeans aren't high waisted enough it just has this random little strip of fabric peeking out. This ain't it bodysuit in lilac. Oh uh, yep can confirm. This ain't it. <laughs> Another bodysuit that ain't it. This one is not as bad as the other one. I like the idea with like the ruching down the middle, but the material is just like too thick and heavy and hot for my climate. And it has the same thing where it has like the random line right here. So I just, I'm not the biggest fan of this. Also the arms are like too loose on me. And I actually have a long sleeve bodysuit that I really, really like. So this one's a no. I actually kind of like this. I really struggle to find like oversized corded sweaters that I actually feel comfortable and confident in. Like obviously it's oversized. It's not gonna give me waist definition. I know that, I'm not expecting that. But still a lot of the times I feel like they're just too thick. They're like too big or too tight in the wrong places. And this one I feel like is really fun. Also the sleeves have like elastic so they fit around your wrists and then like billow, which I feel like helps with that oversized look. I like that it's a mock neck and not a turtleneck. I I think that just works better for me. This one's a yes, I really like this. These shorts I am torn on, I don't know. I think they look super, super cute. Like looking in the mirror, I really, really like the way they fit. I like the way they lay on my body. I like how long they are. I like how loose fitting they are. I love the tie at the waist, but I can already kind of feel them starting to ride up a little bit and I'm afraid I would be doing this dance all day. And they are a little bit thin, so I could see these getting really, really wrinkly throughout the day, but they're so dang cute and they're really, really comfortable because they are so lightweight. I feel like I could style these in a lot of different ways, like even just with my Curvy Crew t-shirt, I feel like it looks really cute. Or I could dress it up with like knee-high boots and a bodysuit, I don't know. How much were these? $42.95, <sighs> mm. I'm gonna put these in the maybe pile and we will reevaluate. I love that I'm still putting things in the maybe pile, when I literally only have two items left, I'm gonna have to make a decision soon anyways, but I can put it off for a few more minutes. I am the trouser queen, young and sweet, only 23. I hate myself. TBT to that Disney video I did a few weeks ago when I tried to sing as off key as possible. And there were actually a few people in the comments who did not get the joke and thought I was being serious. 
Anyways, I really do think I am the trouser queen now. I I love these. I love the fit. Definitely gonna keep these. I will say these don't feel as comfortable as the other two pairs. They're pretty scratchy. They're very thin and they're not as structured. I feel like the quality is kind of on par with like H&M, but these were, how much were these? $51. So I feel like I should be getting better quality for the price that I'm paying, but I almost want to keep them anyways because I really, really like them. I think I'm gonna keep them even though I feel like they are not worth that like price for the quality. The length is nice. They're very cute. Even though the material isn't like as soft, they are still very comfortable. And then on top, I have just this little black crop top also from Chofo. This was $26 and I thought it would just be nice to have a simple little crop top like this for layering. I think both of these pieces are a little bit overpriced for the quality that you're getting, honestly. That being said though, I love the fit. I love the look. Both of these are gonna be yeses. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you wanna see more kind of like traditional try on hauls and style videos like this one, let me know down in the comments. I have so much fun doing like the weird experimental fashion kind of videos, but it is fun every now and then to just do something kind of normal for once. Make sure that you're following me on Instagram because I'm gonna be posting lots of outfit pictures in all my new clothes and you can see how I actually styled them since this is just like a try on. You can see how I kind of like integrated those pieces into my wardrobe, into my everyday style. And if you wanna see what I have been up to while I've been wearing these cute clothes in Europe, you can check out my vlog channel. You can click that card right up there or the link in the description. Steven and I are planning to vlog a lot while we're there. I'm really excited, so be sure to check that out. Anyways, be confident, love your body, and I will see you guys on Friday with another new video. Bye!